rubber ducky, a sponge. Things you cuddle, things you take to bed. A loofah. Uh, things Ricky Ricardo would say. No, pass. It's innovative. Gospel aerobics. It's not really a game show. Kathy Lee. It's two people making candid observations about old game shows and the people on them. It's faux pas, you idiot. Oh, big money gone. Bachelor number one, what's your recipe for cooking up a hot date? You think a girl with the nice meatballs, guy with a big plump sausage, served with an intoxicating spirit, bada bing, no fun with old games. Ooh, that sounds like faux pas. Gabiche. Hello, and welcome to faux pas. Or, as the youngsters on the internet call it, FIP. Uh, I think that's FP. Oh. Well, I like FIP better. Okay. Today we couldn't be more excited because we're presenting the one and only copy in our library of a show called Winning Streak. Yeah, so if you really like it, I'm sorry to say, but there are no more episodes to be found. Yes, apparently Winning Streak did not have a winning streak of its own. And as always, we're going to watch the show with you and share some of our cynical, yet always respectful opinions show us winning streak you can double your money with every word and you may win over a hundred thousand dollars or you may go broke the decision is yours this is winning streak starring bill cullen hey that's nice of you Don. thank you hi oh and hello and hi there Thank you kindly. Welcome to Winning Streak. Happy to have you with us. This is a show, as you probably know by now, at least if you don't, I'll mention it, where you can win as much as $100,000 if you uh, play your cards right, or play your letters right in that case, or you could go, possibly go broke. So we're going to show you right now a gentleman we have up there, Paul Steffens. He's uh, up there where he's going to try to earn some... In order for me to answer the question that just popped into your head, which is, wow... What year is this show from? I first must put my lab coat on, so bear with me. Got it right here, Mary, don't you worry. I got my lab coat. Ha-ha! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what's good? Get, get, get the pointer? All right, check this out. Okay. Now, we here at the Faux Pas Laboratory have analyzed the swoop of this man's hair, the alloy used in his frames of his glasses, and the abbreviated mutton chops, and the overall groovy vibe that he conveys. And based on that information, we have concluded that this episode was taped on July 15, 1974. Wow. <laughs> We're all so very impressed. Yep. But, Sean, couldn't you have just looked at the slate before the show? Yeah, but that's no fun. Plus, you know, I've always wanted to wear one of those lab coats. Uh-huh. Hello, and welcome back, Paul. Hello, Bill. Glad to be back. Okay, now, now, Paul, we want you to earn as much money as you can because there may be a showdown between you and the lady I want to say hello to right now, Kathy Weiss. Hi, Kathy. Kathy won our first round, and she's waiting to see how well you do. There's a possibility that there will be a showdown for the total of both your winnings. So the first thing we do is give you a chance to pick a number from one to six. We're trying to establish a dollar value for your first word, uh, Paul. Thirteen, Bill. Uh, no, no, one to six. Don't, uh, uh, I... I my Way to go, Paul. I hate to break it to you, but 13 is not between 1 and 6. And I hope he knows that in case it ever comes up in important situations. Mm. Okay, Paul. Uh -huh. I need you to hold your arms out All right. and touch your nose. Okay. Hey. Huh? Okay, Hot Shot. I wasn't bad. Now, all standing right. on one leg, right. I need you to count from 1 to 6, all right? All right, one, two, three, four, thirteen, six. Oh, all right, bud. Come all on, right. we're gonna go for a rank. What, go, what count? Let's go what count? The fact you can't. Come on now, pal. All Let's right. go. All right. We can't emphasize enough that that was not the real Paul. That's all right. I didn't mean to jump in on you. I just didn't want to see 13 turn over. Okay, now you made your first mistake, and that didn't cost you a thing, Paul. Between, oh, boy. Between all one right. and six. Three. Okay. Now we'll get a dollar value there. $140. That's the, uh, that's the value of your first word. The money will end double. 
and redouble with every pick after that. And uh, at uh, $140, use nine letters, you can win over $35,000. Now, you want to go between seven and 18, pick your first letter and use it and get your first word for 140 bucks, Paul. Might as well go for 13. Okay, you mentioned that before. That's where I heard it. Uh, there's an N. For $140, give me any word containing the letter N. N. You got it, Paul. 140 bucks. Do you want to double? Yes, I do, Bill. Okay, double. It goes up to 280. Choose another letter. Uh, 14, Bill. Right next door. N E are your two letters showing for $280. Give me a word containing them. Pen, Bill. Pen is fine. You have $280. Do you want to double, Paul? Yes, I do, Bill. $560. If you miss, you're, if you don't come up with a word, you're out of the game because it's double or nothing. For $560, pick another letter. 15, Bill. Right down the line. Oh, for $560, Paul Steffens, give me a word containing the letters N, E, and O. Neon, Bill. Neon is good. Speaking of neon, as in flashing neon, mm -hmm. once again, in the last amusing sketch, that was not the real... Paul. But it was amusing. And when we come back, there's going to be more amusements, and the things that we do later on in the show will also not be the real people that they might represent. So stay tuned. What do you mean, not real people? Well, Welcome back to Faux Paws. He's Sean, I'm Mary, and we're enjoying an episode of Winning Streak from... What year was it again, Professor? Oh, let me get my coat. No, really, that's okay. I believe it was 1974. <laughs> yeah, but only the coat can be sure. Anyway, the real Paul is about to face off against Crystal Gale here. Hmm. Which, by the way, is not the real Crystal Gale. Oh, don't it make my brown eyes blue. Let's see what happens with Paul and Kathy as we continue our screening of Winning Streak. We have over there the winner of round one and round two. Round one was won by Kathy Weiss, round two by Paul Steffens Jr. Uh, Paul won $1,120, Kathy $1,000. They are going now for the grand total in a sudden death showdown of $2,120. <laughs> so it is your option, Paul, for $2,120. That's the total you're both going for now. Would you like to pick the first letter or would you like Kathy to see? I'll pick the first one, Bill. Okay, you're going to try the first one and you do this to stay in the game. Now, the first player who fails to form a word with all the letters we have showing on the board loses. The other player wins, in this case, $2,100. $20. So Paul decided he wants to go first, so pick your first letter, Paul. 13, Bill. There we go. Back to 13. It's an E. All you have to do to stay in the game is give me a word with an E in it. End. End is good enough. Kathy, it's your turn now to stay in the game. 16, please. Number 16, and the letter is an H. To stay in the game, give me a word containing an E and an H. He. He is good. Short and sweet. Paul. <laughs> It's your turn. First one who misses is out of the game. The other is the winner of 2,120. You pick now, Paul. Number nine, Bill. Let's see what we got there. That's an O. Stay in the game. Give me a word, Paul, containing an O, an E, and an H. Ho. We also would have accepted mutton chops. He shouldn't have called her a ho. What are mutton chops? Excuse me? What are mutton chops? Oh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I just like saying it. It's kind of fun, you know. Mutton chops. Mutton chops. Mutton chops. Mutton chops. It's your turn now, Kathy. The ho did it, H-O-E. Man with a $2,120. First one misses, is out of the game, the other wins. Kathy, it's your turn. 12, please, Bill. Okay, see what we have in 12. There's a T. Now, Kathy, to stay in the game, give me a word containing an O, a T, an E, and an H. Toothache. <laughs> toothache. Okay, you got it. That was a perfectly good... Girl, you're so sweet, you give me a toothache. What was that? Some stupid line a guy used on me. Huh? Did, did it work? Just twice. Oh. I don't know why it struck me funny. Guess I was thinking of other ways of getting there. $2,120 up there. And, Paul, let's see if you can stay in the game. 15, Bill. That's your number, and the letter there is a D. Okay, Paul Steffens, give me a word containing these letters. O, T, E, D, and H. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I can hear the echo in my brain. 
Sorry, haunted or halted would have done it. You missed the winner with $2,120. is Kathy Weiss, our housewife again. Congratulations, Kathy. Could have had haunted or halted or something like that. Congratulations. $2,120. You just won yourself. Congratulations, Kathy. You know, I think it's a shame. These, these two contestants make such a lovely couple. I mean, could you imagine what it'd be like if they fell in love? Well, she's already married. Yeah, I know, but, uh, you know, I'm just saying, like, if right. they did. I get you. Like, if he used that toothache line from before and they ran off to record an album of songs about game shows called Bonus Round of Love? Hey, you know, it could happen. Available now on audio cassette at 8-Track Tape, the soothing sounds of Kathy and Paul, the definitive musical superstars of the game show universe. Just listen to the magic they've created on this, their very first album, Bonus Round of Love. Okay, Sean. Sugar, Sean, 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 snap out of it now. Sean, 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 Sean. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. This is really catchy. Can I dig it? <sighs> pull me up, pull me down. All right, well, he keeps no, singing. We're going to take no. a break, so come back for more Don't folks. Sean, 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 come back to us. Yeah. Sean. Woo, hop and down. On the one Well, I'm sure you're all glad to see I've snapped out of my singing trance, and I'm ready once again to take the reins of this horse known as Faux Paws. Giddy up! Nice to have you back, Sean. Nice to be back. Our friend Kathy was defeated in the next round by Patty, who waits to see who her next opponent is. Let's meet the possible challengers. In between, we'll start talking from left to right. Ed Anthony. Hello, Ed. Hi, Bill. Uh, uh, what How you, are you? Fine, sir. Thank you. What, what do you do, Ed? I'm a singer, a nightclub singer. Okay. Have you met Mary here? Okay. Should we just say it now? Yeah. Remember, whatever we do, mm -hmm. it won't be the real Ed Anthony. Absolutely. To you, I Ed? have, This, yes, is, this I is, have. is Mary Roberts, for those of you who haven't met Mary. Mary, what do you do? I'm a housewife and a mother of two. Okay, so we have Ed and Mary ready to start a game here to see who will get a chance to get up that big board. Take a look over there. The category board, word, a, a word containing a double O. A word containing a double O. Those top, that top line, C, T, Z, and W, you can all be used as starters. Some of the others can be used as starters, and most of them can be used within a double O word. But that's what we're looking for, a double O word. So we go first to you, Ed, and ask you to choose and see if you can get yourself on a winning streak. I'll take a no, Bill. You, you'll try for the letter O. Okay, <laughs> naturally. Going to be a lot of those used. Both of you ready now. This O was written by Rogers and Hammerstein. And what do you say, Mary? Oklahoma. Okay, Oklahoma is right. You have won an O. Where do you want I'll take that O in the number two position. That's where I'll it goes. Go for another O. Another O. Both of you eligible. We got Mary on a winning streak. This O is the oriental art of... What do you say, Ed? Origami. Origami is... Ah, yes, origami. I just finished this one up, Mary. Oh. This is an origami seabird. Uh-huh. Oh. The crane, a symbol of wisdom and long life. What are you going to be a show-off for? I folded a lot of napkins as a waitress. No big deal. You don't got to jam it in my face every time. I mean, I'm just trying to do a show here. I was going to say a paper folding. I know you want to know. The question is, where do you want to put it? You have nothing I'll, in front of it. 
I'll put it in the number three uh, position. I'll try another. Okay, oh. it goes in the number three position, and now you and Anthony are on a winning streak. And here comes another one, both eligible. You get three of these O's in every inning. And that's Mary. Outs. Outs is right. Where do you want to put your O? I'll put my O in the number three spot. That's where it goes. And I'll go for an L. An L. This L is Charlie Brown's psychiatrist. What do you say? Lucy. Lucy is right. Charlie Brown wouldn't need a psychiatrist if Lucy would just let him kick the stupid football once. I mean, is that guy getting older or what? Look, just because wardrobe dressed you like the great pumpkin, there's no need to be bitter. I'll take that L in number four. In the fourth position. And I'll go for a C in number one. And are you ever on a winning streak? Both of you eligible now. This C can be found inside a Swiss clock. What do you say, Ed? Chimes. Uh, chimes. No, Swiss clock, we're thinking of the uh, cuckoo, uh, cuckoo uh, type clock. And the C automatically goes over there to Mary. Congratulations, Mary, you have the word cool. Uh, Ooh, Ed Anthony said chimes instead of cuckoo and loses the game. Mm. Tough loss, but yeah. I think he'll be okay. Yeah, I hope it's, he's not bitter or anything. I mean, I'd hate to see it, you know, just the defeat affect his nightclub act. I just don't want to see it get into his craft. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love that song, Muscat Love Too. And uh, my next song is about an experience I had on a new game show called Winning Streak. And it goes something like this. Two, three, four. There were words starting with O. Origami was one I did know. Oklahoma, I buzzed in too slow. But the word that repeats and repeats in my mind, that word I keep hearing 1,000 times, chimes, that stupid word chimes. I was cuckoo when I said chimes, and it cost me about 4,000 dimes. I hear chimes, stupid chimes, and my blood pressure climbs. I should have shut up. Like one of those mimes Cause I choked when I said chimes Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be back for the second show in just a quick bit. So hang tight, hold your lover, and totally new songs in the second set, all right? See ya. Hit the graphic, boys. Judging from that, I don't think he's bitter at all. But that's not the real Ed anyway. Right, exactly. Well, what if you can um, order a copy of that song, like uh, like Paul and Kathy's album? Yeah. Show I'm a game show girl. 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 Pause picks followed by match game and tattletales. here on Faux Pause and waiting to watch the thrilling conclusion to the only winning streak we'll ever see. I don't know why you keep saying that. I'm sure there are more episodes somewhere. This has got to be somewhere. Whatever. When we left, Mary had just defeated Ed and moved on to the money board. So let's see how she does. Could be one under my chair. I'll take a look. You use the G. Do you want a double? Yes, I do. Okay. It goes uh, up to $240. You've used one. There are 12 up there. Choose another one. I'll take number 10. Behind 10 is the letter M. For $240, Mary, give me any word at all containing the letters G and M, not necessarily in that order, naturally. Uh, game. Yeah. Game, it was in that order, and that's perfectly all right. $240 you have. Now, if you miss, if you fail to come up with a word, you're out of the game. I just ask you that because that's something I want you to be reminded of. Do you want to double? Yes, I do. Four hundred and eighty dollars is the value on this next one. It doubles every time. Pick a letter. I'll take number twelve. And number twelve is the letter U. Everything going down the line there. <laughs> now, for four hundred eighty dollars, Mary Roberts, give me a word containing... I bet she's gonna say gum. Mm, I say mug. Uh, let's see what happens. There's G, M, and U. Mug. Mug is good. You used them all. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. $480. If you double, the number will really jump a lot. Of course, if you don't come up with a word, you're out of the game. What do you want to do? I'll go. Okay. That brings us to $960. You've used the GM and you right down the line. For $960, would you please select another letter? I'll take number 18. She went right down the line. I want to see if you'd do that. Now, for $960. Give me any word which contains these letters. I'll repeat them again for you. G, M, U, and N. Gum nuts. You can't say that word on TV. Gum nuts? <sighs> Sensors. Un Unmugged. <laughs> no. Unmugged? Unmugged? Is that like <laughs> reversing the process of being attacked like you're on the streets of New York and like somebody mugs you and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, I, I kind of feel bad about that. Let me no, unmug you. It's like decaf coffee. Oh, so it's like a light mugging? Exactly. Oh, without like as many contusions. Exactly. Contusion free. I'm sorry, unmug cannot be accepted. <laughs> and that means because you missed, Patty Mohair and our student wins $760. Congratulations, Patty. <laughs> So Patty wins and gets to face a new opponent in the next episode of Winning Streak, which we'll watch next week. Because Sean, we got to... remember, this is the only copy in existence. <laughs> As I was saying, on the next Sean, episode of Winning Streak... this is it's... it, man. Get a hold of yourself. There are no more winning no, streaks, no. buddy. There's got to be one more. Why can't there just be one more? It's Shook and Showdown. Shook and Showdown. Shook and Showdown. Game show, girl! Let that horse out! Game show, girl! Let's ride it out!